Ladies and gentlemen, we are headed to Arrakis for this latest Forex title from Shiro Games. Don Hayes is the name, and June Spice Wars is the game. Alrighty, so we're going to rock and roll with plus 10% authority production. This was actually one of the main reasons why we captured this particular region. Um, it's a very powerful buff. Um, it worked with all factions, but I think it benefits Carino more than any other just because of how high the cost is for um, annexing towns and villages with Carino. All right, so next options are spice production. We've got also spice production. Using an operation spawns one assassin in the target zone. I love that. That might be worth doing simply... For that um, feat. Or oh, 25. Look at that, is pretty big. So, our choice is really using an operation spawns an assassin in the target zone, which we may end up getting somewhere else down the line anyway. Or, and I really like this one. I mean, the fact that we can use ships. Military units start with one more experience level. Wow. Okay, yeah. So the boat, the, yeah, we got to go for this. So this is Renegade, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we definitely want Princess Irulian and Zumgaron. Let's -a go. Renegade houses have left Tupile without authorization. They may have taken advantage of the confusion to seek refuge on Arrakis. We are counting on your help to find them and eliminate them. Their presence is already disrupting order in the Imperium. The hammer is up. Alright. I do like these uh, types of missions. Uh, crushing the rebellions. Or the renegades. But they are challenging. So we need to remove at least six of the bases ourselves. Well, you don't need to, but it's uh, it's an optional thing to gain some um, development points. And to be honest, development assets are kind of meh anyway at the best of times. I, I'm not convinced they are that great. Uh, manpower is the resource. Okay, good to know. Now, this is very close to our military base, so we can absolutely utilize our military base to uh, yes, capture this city or village. We're and we can also Majesty. use the frigates as well, yes, to be fair. Nice. Easy, easy kill. Alright, grab this. Problem is, I don't know what type of base it is, but in any case, it's good to have. Take this one next. I think we just literally go and take the ones next to us. Alright. So we're training Megalopolis. Um, these frigates are good. I like them. The, the old hammer. MC hammer. Can't touch this. We serve the Imperium. We obey. Do you need some fire? We won't fail in our duty. Sweet. Yes. Base number two. A plus group base, we should grab that. Ready to deliver the payload. Hard to see anything but red on this planet. We'll make it go away. More money, though. Definitely picking up. Port. Ready to deliver the payload. 
Problem is, I don't know how to build these bases. The simple fact that I don't know um, what the benefits of each region is at the moment. Well, except for these two. Wow, we are literally surrounded by like, wow, a lot of base. Okay, interesting. Really use it some more uh, authority production, that's for sure. Might have expanded too early, boys. <laughs> Listening. Definitely grab this one, and then money's the next one we want for sure. Be a while before we can actually start taking out the renegades, but that'd be a good one as well with the research hubs. Come on, we're we like in the middle of the map. Oof, done like that. Not a massive fan of where we're sat. It looks like we got some good regions next to us, but being literally in the middle of the map like that is not ideal. In fact, I'm going to actually manually control this one for a sec. What are the benefits of these bases? Well, there are no benefits to these bases, they're just... In which case, you really did go in the wrong direction first. <laughs> Should have gone this way. Okay, 34. Yeah, these seem like very generic bases to me. But we'll use it for manpower production, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Okay, Harkens to the right of us. Fremen to the north, possibly. I mean, it's just a mountain range, actually. Absolutely smashed. <laughs> okay, grab a free only thought to there, might as well. Another plus creep base. Okay, well, our income's going to go down to nothing. In fact, possibly minus. Ready to 
deliver the payload. The hammer's always on time. Yes. All right. At least we get some money now, which is great. It's much needed. Reporting for duty on the offensive. Listening, Majesty. Listening. Priority production for sure. Okay, that's actually really good. And then I think we need to go our military. As soon as we can start dealing with these renegade bases, the better. Typical though, that the two bases I picked at the start don't look to have any advantage <laughs> at all. Another chance of that. Unbelievable. Oh well. Oh, more, uh, more economy. That's what I like to see. The hammer is up. We serve the Imperium. Oh, and this one's an economy base. Okay, that's good to know. I think research is what we should go for first, though. Ooh. I can put 40 influence and everyone gains the benefits. Apply my influence on that one. I'm going to target myself for this. I'm going to go all in. Put 10 points on that to get the land strad. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Didn't have to put that much many points behind it, but we are ready. At least we, we got it. Listening, Majesty. And then research is what we go for next, and then we'll go for Monet. Grab another only thought there. Especially as those ones are free. Listening. Yeah, it's a big map. The maps with renegades on usually are, to be fair. Do you need some fire? Sixty nine for the next base. There are actually a lot of economy bases around, which is ideal. I can find Weller Riches as well, I'll be well happy. Definitely my favourite region, I think. That and the Polar Ice Cap. Which is amazing in its own right, especially with Carino. You get to build two water extractors, I mean it's just it's busted. But it's awesome.
Oh yeah, we should grab that. We're listening, Majesty. Do you need some fire? Flamers moving. Reporting for duty. It's an honor, Majesty. On watch. We serve the Imperium. It's an honor, Majesty. God, he hasn't got many supplies, has he? We obey. Coordinating the attack. Okay, never mind. They're gonna ab. Uh, wow. Absolutely slapped. These hammers are amazing. <laughs> I really like them. I think they might be my favourite um, of the uh, airborne units, to be honest. Like the harpies are pretty cool. But I don't think they do even half as much damage as the um, hammers. And again, the hawks from Atreides, also not bad, but... Are they as good as hammers? Oh, I don't know, I don't think so. We should get that money. And that plus create. Flamers reporting. Listening, Majesty. This place is hot. We're here to clean up the mess. Careful, it's hot. The next money base. So 103, 106. Oh, we should grab this one before Harkonnen do. I wonder if we should stop them from grabbing this base. I don't want this base myself, I just don't want them having it. <laughs> The ultimate dick move. Flamethrowers are filled up. Following orders. All right. Uh, I forgot to do the old uh, knowledge thing for this. Expensive for me at the moment. engineering. That's what I'm working on now. Cool. What do you need, my emperor? So this one could be worth grabbing. 85. That puts me in range of two more bases. Oh, it's a raider. Yeah, look what that, buddy. Flamethrowers are filled up. Yes, Majesty. We obey. Let me maxed on command points, which is nice. Oh, actually, they do have um, aircraft, so I think maybe we should add in a couple of riflemen for this mission. 
just to deal with the renegades. Okay, money first things first. Awaiting order. Okay, knowledge. I actually have a lot of um Oh it's all halved. Nice, we should definitely get in dishes. This one's definitely been targeted a few times. Base there. This would be a good one to do a forward base. Somewhere like we can scout over here. It'd be really good to have a forward base there as well. Because we can just teleport. Well, I say teleport. We can air airdrop to our military bases. So it should make this map considerably easier for us to navigate. There is also the fact that I can, um, if we're truced with civilizations or factions, we can um, we can <laughs> literally use their um, airport zones, which is just hilarious. Oh, this is a Plasgreet zone. Okay, good to know. Some more actually. Wow. Amazing. I'll take all your money. <laughs> no problem, eh? Oh, they don't have much. Oh, no. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's apply this and see if that encourages the enemies to actually... ...attack the enemy, uh... What do we call it? Renegade bases. All clear. If that's a base we grab. It's really out there. Kind of screws with Harkonnen. And it gives me access to all these renegade bases that are all around here, look. And these ones up here. That's got to be a really good spot for us to build a build forward base. And if it does get that, how we just power drop the boys there. It's not even that big a risk, honestly. You need to start dealing with them soon. Parallel training protocols. Uh, money probably worth grabbing. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what we do want. Uh, rather than that, let's put them in spacing guilds because I want supply drop, which is huge.
That's got to be in it. This is a no-brainer for us. That is a lot. We salute our emperor. Right, I think we've got what it takes to take that out just yet. Unfortunately. Yes, Majesty. I mean, we can rebuild really fast enough, and it's not. That's not much of a problem. No time for chit chat. Lol. <laughs> okay. Elite of the Imperium at your service. Alright, oh, Siege is there then. have to think about where I'm going to do the next one. I suspect it'll be somewhere around here if we can. Because that then accesses us this oops this base which would otherwise be very difficult to get to. Deal with these guys. Get off my land. Probably will need to grab that base eventually, but don't really need that now. This renegade base is what we need really need to be targeting. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, because they're trying to grab that. I see. That's funny. So there's the running over oh, there. there. Maybe one of these is worth grabbing. Probably this one. Can mort up and kill that. Yeah, I think so. It's gotta be the most the next most difficult location to get to. And relying on the AI to take care of these renegade bases, yeah, not not gonna happen. <laughs> and not the brightest, even on insane. We are kind of maxed out. I don't 
now. That is a lot. Grab an XP to be honest. I'm only gonna know whether I should take that now. It's not really worth the risk, but. We do have a good army. We could probably get rid of could do with getting rid of these conscript swordsmen. Alright, let's see how badly this goes. We I mean, might absolutely crush. It's gonna be a challenge. I mean, damn, they're really good, aren't they, these flamers? Jesus. I don't care about losing the conscript swordsmen. They need to be replaced with Sardaukar anyway. What I don't really want to be losing is the uh, flame tro troopers. Or the Sardaukar. Everything else. Yeah, I want to keep alive. Conscript swordsmen, don't really care. We need to back off, my boy. Of course, uh, I can then take that opportunity. That went smooth. We lost one hammer, though, so MC's not happy. But we can grab another spacing thing, and then we can start building our own. Yeah, that went really well. Okay, I think we grab that. Ooh, we're going to put 10 on that one. So I can get the Landstrad points. Lovely. I don't think I'd have been able to compete against Harkonnen, so... I just didn't have much influence, to be fair. Okay, we've already taken one out, so that's really good. So grab a rifleman as well, actually. Some of these might have air units, which will be a little bit more tricky to deal with. This one doesn't. Or oh, does this one? Interestingly. Nor this one. Or this one. Or none of them have air units. Oh. That's very interesting. Not a single one has air units. Well. I mean, this has got to be the one in it for the forward base. Oh, no, I just did that on there. That probably would have been a better choice, but never mind. We salute our emperor. We 
Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. You're taking me, eh? No time for chit chat. On watch. All clear. Listening. We salute our emperor. Ugh. Well, to be fair, I'm defended, so whatever. Elite of the Imperium at your service. This, As however, I definitely need to defend against. Oh, they do have air units. Just not in defense, just in attack. <laughs> I probably don't have anything that shoots up, that's actually a problem. Right, except for my base. And these conscript riflemen are about to die, lovely. Didn't really want to lose my Sardar car. The um, the main base is typically always target the air units anyway. It's kind of their priority. Get another rifleman, I think. These don't really have a cost, I might as well just leave them. Oh, you wanker. Reporting for duty. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, you didn't do what I thought you did. Sometimes they can actually like block you from getting a uh, technology. It looks like you just put a patent on it, which means it costs you 500 gold to unlock it. Which I'm pretty sure we already did earlier, so yeah, not that big a deal actually. So we should grab this base. This would be a good little uh, staging site to take out these renegades up here. So we're basically at the point now where we can uh, start taking these fights and start periodically taking them out. Father Payton, that's fine. Elite of the Imperium at your service. That's this one. No one compares to Sardaukar. Do you know, I don't even care about Harkonnen. To be fair, they're not the objective. The objective is the Renegade bases, so... 
And I'm just going to ignore them for the most part. If they start getting a bit too close, I'll deal with them, but... Until then, not too fast. Not bigger fish to fry. And by fish, I mean renegades. Okay, let's start um, getting some more recruitment offices. And water, actually. Okay, the fuel cell costs I didn't think about. Either way, let's deal with this, uh, this base. Cargo hold is almost full. I'll have you lead the way though. We'll leave a crater. These are so fast compared to all the other units. We'll the place. Let's call these team two. Wow, the AOE damage is real. To be fair, at this point in the side of car are kind of expendable. It's all the uh, the DPS that I want to keep alive, the pyros and the uh, construct riflemen. Would you believe the side car really are just tanking? I can replace them easy enough. It's not like I'm short on cash or manpower or anything. So now we should be in a position where we can just periodically go around and just kill off every base. So the rest of this mission shouldn't take too long, all being well. My support is Grab this base. Believe it or not, because he's a little bit low on health, I'd rather lead with the uh, pyros. Stop people from picking that. I'm going to put 80 into that, 90 into that. Yeah, I thought everyone would pick that. <laughs> you change it from a single faction to L factions, like, oh no, I'm not interested in that anymore. Okay, that is probably worth picking up. I'll grab the patent. I got a missile turret, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, good luck with that against three heavies. <laughs> Once the boys have replenished, Let's take this next one out. Easy, bruv. 
And the Sada car we lose, we'll replace them and move on to the next one, which is... Uh, we've got quite a few to choose from, actually. <laughs> I really wish this hammer thing wouldn't get so far ahead. I mean, it's kind of good that it pulls them all out of position, I suppose, but... Okay, this Sada car's actually leveled up. I'm looking forward to being um, able to uh, recruit level 2 units. I mean, that is pretty nuts. He's gonna... Oh, he might survive. I can pull him away. I want to keep level 2s alive because they're so much more powerful. So much more tanky. Do more damage. I mean, they tick all the boxes, really. Bites the dust. Job boys, didn't lose a thing. Love it. Always lovely it is. No one compares to Sardaukar. No time for chit chat. Let's go to the Imperial base. Where's the next one over here? Okay, so we want to go over there next. Hopefully we can. We might not. Yeah, we can get through here. Deal with that. I feel like there's one down here, there is. And there. Ooh, Harkon are actually dealing with them. Wow, that's a lot of comp. What? Why have they got so many combat praise? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? Why so many combat praise? Oh, actually, I tell you why. They probably have um, a thing that I picked up when I was um, playing Harkonnen's campaign, where every time you use a um, like a intel operation, basically it summons a load of those little combat drones. So I wonder if he's just had a shitload of them. Like, ah, oh, fuck this! It's taking up all my supply. I'm gonna send them in to the slaughter. So actually, yeah, we would probably need... Oh, there's one there as well. Yikes. Oh, this honestly, this is the worst thing. I love them, but... Oof. Oof. Should be uneventful. We'll blow up the place. Operation Scorched Earth in progress. Oh, these are level threes as well, so they're absolutely just devouring these guys. Yeah, no chance in hell. Easy pickings for the boys. Oh, and the execution as well. <laughs> Executes at 130. Wow. <laughs> that is a savage. How is there seven bases remaining? Oh, it feels like I've taken more than four down. Christ. I feel like the Harkonnens are going to be a little bit of a pain because they're kind of in the way. We salute our Emperor. We Let's go to this Imperial down. base. This one's going to be hard to... Ah, uh, both of them actually. Any intel? Anyone got intel? Yeah, you've got intel. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Let me give you some money. I got fucking shitloads. There we go. 
I can get my second upgrade. Woo! Yeah, grab that. Plus one attack speed per allied unit at medium range. Executes grain influence. Yeah, yeah. Units damaged by two more inch rate as a crew burned 50% faster. Hells yeah. And these guys. Yeah. Extra armor is always good. Alright, let's get you boys over here. And then we'll deal with this. Ah, my favorite. Well of Riches. I reckon actually we take down Well of Riches and we use that as a base to then launch against this one. Ready to deliver the payload. Oh yeah. Cargo hold is almost full. The hammer's always on time. Man, 675 health. We salute <sighs> Not what I wanted, but okay, sure, whatever. I don't think they do any damage, do they really? Do you really think they're going to do anything to me other than just die? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's quite funny, to be fair. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I'm not interested in you anyway, luckily for yourself. You are the least of my concerns. Oh, I love it when they all just group up. This is going to burn, boys. Oh, they shot down my MC Hammer. I'm not happy with that. Rude. I'm not even going for you. Get off my land. Actually, might lose some Sardaukar here. No one to we'll go there so let's pull them back, boys. Do you need to start targeting these guys. I'm hoping to get the supplies back after doing this. So that I can then do take this base, regroup, take the next one on that's literally down here. And I get well of riches as well, because why not? Just pull them back. Nice. Easy bruv. A skill, a McGill. What do you need, my emperor? <laughs> yeah. Emperor. I don't think so, buddy. That's very wishful thinking. Do you know what? The only thing that could really kill me is if I uh, get assassinated. What do you need, my emperor? Well, it didn't work last time, so. You know what? That's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll focus on this. Ten there. Ten there. Oh! Everyone opposed that? I'm shocked. Okay, fine. That would have been useful. <laughs> we salute our Emperor. I'm not overly concerned, to be honest. Well, the riches, you say? 
Not that I need the money. Actually raking it in. Wow, we're up to 600. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's take this one out. Listening, Majesty. We'll say the hammer did a good job of like pulling all the enemies out of the renegade base. So the loss of that is actually going to be a little bit painful. But, I mean, these are all level 3 units, so, you know. Oh, he's level 2? He's not even level 3? Even these guys are level 2. Jesus. I have to keep him alive if I can. Get out the way. I think he's going to die. Yeah. Well. Small price to pay, I suppose. Blessed hey, 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 living like we're renegades. Oh, flame is so good. I mean, look at the damage they do, it's just absolutely ridiculous, especially when they're leveled up as well. Woof. Uh, supply drop, yeah, that's definitely what I want. I'm getting there, get your supplies after you raid this bad boy. Wobbler. Alright. Let me just confirm there's no more down here. Nope. Lovely. So then we got this base. This base. Uh, is this base? Where's the other one? There's one more somewhere. There's four remaining. What have I missed? Okay, one, two, oh, three. And then, yeah, mate, boy up there. Cool. No problem. Sadakar, shlaba da ba da ba da ba dim da. I did get my third thing in the end, didn't I? I was on the main base. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, maybe just get like another conscript rifleman, maybe. Not to use up the supply. No one compares to Sardaukar. Yeah, Sardaukar might be like one of the strongest units in the game. Truly. Like, I think they're better than Executioners, which is the Harkonnen version. I think the Warden's weak as balls. I think... We'll make it go away. I haven't played Ekaz to know... Or Oryx, actually. I haven't played those two factions yet. But we'll get to it when the time is out right. When we uh, finish Carino, Ekaz is next. Followed by uh, Ix, or Vernius. But I have to admit, I was a little bit sceptical with Carino, but the Flamers really do redeem this faction, along with the Sardaukar. Like, those two units alone carry this entire faction from a Conquest perspective. But it, it really is the Pyros. The Pyros are like, just, they do all the heavy lifting for DPS, and the Sardaukar tank and execute, it's beautiful. It's a really nice synergy. I mean, we're rinsing through Renegade better than we did when we were playing Harkonnen, which is generally considered the. Uh, I can be a reliable ally. 
the strongest faction when it comes to military, but Carino, you know, is up there. In fact, we should peace Fremen because then we get an extra 15%. Actually, I'm peace half Conan. We do extra damage. Okay, let's regen the boys. Where's the next one? Up there. Lovely. Oh, one there. Okay, cool. So missing one, you. Friends with everyone, that means we get even more damage. What do you need, my emperor? Probably should have friended them a long time ago, actually, to be fair. Alright, last three, let's -a go. Two back to back. In fact, I might capture this base just to refill the boys. This has been a hell of a dominant um, mission. Fire, will cleanse the place. Fire love. You definitely don't want to go front. Just gonna take a step back. Oh, we didn't refill the side of car. That was a mistake. Never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. He's taking a lot of damage. Supplies going on here. Man, even the flamers are tanky as hell. I love it. This is pretty nuts. Very, very, very dominant team composition. Sardaukar plus flamers equals GG's. Okay, that's quite a lot, but do they stack up against these guys? I think not. Let's pop these guys at the back. What do you need, my pop this base. You target the ones at the back, and like everyone just burns and wow. <laughs> oh, oh, it's insane! It's so powerful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much there to agree with that. No one compares to Sardaukar. That seems pretty good. Flying units? Since when do they attack air? Wow. That's a first. Um, right, where are you? Come join the boys. So these guys have got 5A2. I guess because of this conscript, they get extra armor as well. Have I only got one? Oh, I got two side of cars. Okay. Yes, Majesty. Fire will cleanse the place. Who the hell is attacking me? What do you need, yeah, okay, good luck with that. We're here to clean up the mess. We'll 
But I said, hey, 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 living like we're renegades. And I said, hey. I don't care about that. I'll take this one. I'll put 150 into it. But I really need to at this point. This is insane. I love this faction. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit concerned. I'm, I'm, the only thing I'm concerned about with this faction is taking down enemy main bases, which we'll have to do eventually. But I'm actually one thinking maybe that is actually something that's very viable. Just thinking about just how strong they are, it's kind of nuts. Plus two mechanical units and structures. Um, go for supply drop and probe. What do you need, my emperor? Yeah, this has been a very easy and straightforward mission. Just a little bit um, long-winded, unfortunately. Just the fact that I'm the one who has to clear up everything because the AI is just too stupid to clear up renegades. <laughs> it's just quite funny. No one compares to Sardaukar. So I do like that all upgrades are free now, except for unless you want to swap stuff, which does cost a grand each time. 41 grand. Jesus Christ. Man is rich. Rich boys. Rich! I guess I didn't even get a hero. Is that because I haven't got 10k hegemony? <laughs> Probably should have grabbed some other bases, but oh well. Could have had a hero as well. I'm doing pretty much full. Great. There's one more remaining and it's over here, so let's go. It's the quickest way to go. I reckon this way. I'm mighty glad there's no um, worms on this mission. That'd be super annoying. Didn't even notice that. <laughs> Yeah, I do really like airports. I think they're amazing. They're such, they're such a powerful tool to be able to just like airdrop all your units from one location to another. I can meet this guy away. No time for chit chat. Consider it done. So get these guys. Operation Scorched Earth in progress. Scorched Earth indeed, boys. Scorched Earth. Elite of the Imperial at your service. Oh, well, goodbye, Renegades. It's nice knowing you. G G's boys, G G's. The Empire's conquest of Arrakis is proceeding in line with our projections. I believe congratulations are in order. Damn straight, brother. We smashed the hell out of that mission. <laughs> I don't think I've completed that mission, like a mission type like that, that quickly before. I think that showcases the strength of um, House Carino, though. 
And that was going in completely the wrong direction at start. In terms of picking two bases that had absolutely zero benefit. <laughs> but yeah, that was um, such a strong army composition that you can get with these guys. I am a fan of the old Pyro Sardaukar. The best combo, in my opinion. Alrighty folks, well thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. And do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.